in the era of average grades and unconventionality i stumbled upon my voice picture a classroom where my creative mind clashed with conventionality over me questioning the old traditional curriculum and the response a mere inquiry on the punctuality of my assignment so as to work they submitted on time or not these moments were where my creative mind clashed with the conventionality and my average student status was being questioned out of these doubts came in a strong desire for a change and a belief in the power of youth voices ladies and gentlemen distinguished guests and my tedx enthusiasts i am akarsh and i stand here before you not as an engineer for uh, with a passion for sustainability but as somebody who believes in the power of youth voices i come from a small town of solan amidst the beautiful himalayas in himachal pradesh where my first teachers and mentors were the majestic mountains the beautiful valleys and the pristine environment and which instilled in me the values of innovation creativity and a deep respect for nature and a desire to protect it growing up in a small town i had a little or no exposure to the outside world yet perhaps this limitation didn't limit my curious innovative nature since my childhood was pa uh, painted with a passion for automobiles and i still remember when i was a kid i used to easily remember every of the car in my uh, car number in my locality i would often spend a couple of hours with the local mechanic understanding how the automobiles ran my father's car service days were a, were a kind of an unofficial course for me in the mechanics of automobile since i was a kid i had big dreams big big ambitions but i had no idea what i would want to do what my destiny is where i uh, what i wanted to do what my path would be but i wanted to do something out of the box something you know that makes a change something that gives something to the world something innovative and uh, i reached my i completed my higher education and i had no idea still i had no idea what i wanted to do couple of opinions came in still no idea but in the end i chose btech in mechanical uh, with a specialization in automobile from shulin university it was just for the sake of one word automobile but as the time passed initial few years were were very boring the traditional you know theory which i never liked so it was just that but out of my curiosity i i got myself engrossed and finally there was one day that came my university was 5 kilometers from my home and i used to drive so i sat in my car i was i was just uh, going to the university and uh, uh, eventually i had to stop because the windshield was very dirty i had to stop i had to wipe the dirt off the windshield and uh, i had to uh, like i did all of that i started by okay i reached the university and the class was about innovation how do we bring innovation to the world so we were talking about necessity is the mother of invention so we were talking about the problems that we faced in our daily lives what are the problems so the problem that i faced was a very small one like i had to stop my car i had to wipe that dirt off and then i had to move so what what was the solution to this so i came up with a solution where we sense the water that gets collected on the windshield we collect it through the vents there's a motor that's embedded and through this motor the water passes through the semi permeable membrane with a pressure and the wiper gets filtered it gets uh, collected in the tank and it gets uh, we can use it uh, like it gets refueled so the uh, it it is eliminating the process of refueling the water so that ladies and gentlemen was my first patent and my entry into the world of the patents and into the world of innovation I have got 22 patents out of which 11 have been granted in the Indian Patent Office. From the beginning I was an average student never in the spotlight and I resonate with those youth voices who 
or are often unheard of. Because we are the ones who are unafraid of challenging the status quo. We are unafraid of challenging the norms. You know, we are unafraid of going beyond the possibilities, of dreaming beyond the possibilities. You know, we're just almost unafraid of everything. We have got a fresh perspective, an unwavering determination and an unquenchable thirst for what and that propels progress. So I always dreamt big, you know. So my life had been a mix of principles and these principles I have recognized it on my way, you know, that I have like faced. So there are five key principles that I believe that are definitely going to help you and have helped me on my way. First is opportunity is everywhere. Opportunities often present themselves in very unexpected ways and it is important that you grab them. It was my curiosity that took me into the world of patents. From the world of patents, I started conducting small workshops. From these small workshops, it took me on to another level where I started giving national and international talks and eventually started building ecosystem innovation for these universities where I taught, uh, like I discussed how to draft patents and how to bring out the patents out of these innovations. So the lesson here is grab every opportunity that comes your way because it may be a stepping stone to success. Second, the power of adaptability. The power of adaptability is tremendous, my friends. The life is full of Earth's uncertainties. For me, I would define uncertainties as a kind of an adventure. These are thrills. You know, we get a sense of accomplishment. Life, uh, world is changing at a very astonishing pace. And it is essential that we embrace this change. Learn new skills. Learn new things. Start embracing the change. You know. Get out of your comfort zone. Try to taste different phases of, my, uh, of your life. I've slept in one of the most luxurious hotels to even sleeping in a car in a cold winter night. The power of adaptability is tremendous. Third, dream big, act bold. No dream is too big, no action too bold. When I was a kid, I dreamt big. There was this showroom that I wanted to own and every time I passed by it, I used to point at it. I would tell my parents that one day I would be owning this showroom. I even got a name for it, Dragster Automobiles. And I, I created a Facebook page for it as well that when I grow up, I wouldn't have time for it. And my friends usually made fun of that. You know, what are you doing? But that never made me embarrassed. That was one of the biggest motivation. I even got it stickered on the front of my car, Dragster Automobile. And as a matter of fact, my mother still drives that car. So yes, that was a great motivation. Fourth, community and collaboration. Empowerment does not happen in isolation. It is through com collaboration that we amplify the impact. I used to discuss my patent ideas with my friends. I even helped them in drafting theirs. Later on, I started conducting small workshops at a very small level, like for five, four or five kids. You know, I would teach them like how, how do we draft it? How do, how, how do we construct a patent out of scratch? And out of this, I cre it, it took me to a whole new level, a whole new level where I amplified the impact by almost like 20x, 30x. You know, I started giving these workshops on international, international level where I even built these innovation ecosystem for these universities and they started with their patent ecosystem. So that's how we amplify the impact. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals like who, who, who are passionate like you, who have got voices like you and who will help you achieve your goals. Fifth and the most important, never forget your roots. I come from Solon and my actions are often influenced by the place and the values instilled in me by the place where I come from. My first motivation was to make my parents proud. 
the basis was to give something back to the community the mountains and that has been my motivation since i would like to quote an example here uh i completed my graduation and uh, i was working but i i was not enjoying that work so i had to move out of it and uh, i wanted to enter another territory my background was technical i wanted to get into the consultancy the top mnc firms we call them as the big fours but i had no networking no connections nobody i knew i was working in these firms but that never let me down i i just worked hard i try i adapted according to what i wanted to be i learned new skills you know i worked day and night you know almost 70% of the people i met in that journey a journey of 7 to 8 months you know they would just criticize me you're from such and such college such and such background you won't get into these top elite firms you'll have to do your mba such such things you know but i overpowered all all of these things and finally i work for pwc so that is the power of a persistent youth you know overcoming hurdles and making waves we the youth are the future of a bright uh, of a better world our voices our ideas and our dreams will shape the world we inherit be bold bring your ideas with the audacity of a genius so you hold the power to the better world back your community make your parents proud always remember it isn't just about personal success but about making up up the world a better place to be so you uh, so let's unite our voices our ideas our passions to create a world full of bold visionaries so thank you tedx bhis kanpur for giving me this platform for sharing my thoughts my visions for an empowered sustainable and a world where we dream audaciously